Hi, my name is Lexi Wilson, and today I want to talk about mental health in the workplace. Mental health is often overlooked in our society. It is not seen as being as important as physical health, when in reality, the two are equal. Mental health issues can create serious problems in the workplace, and without proper knowledge, care, and resources, the issue will continue to get worse and damage our businesses. According to Mental Wellness in the Workplace, 11 Statistics You Should Know, a 2019 survey by Mental Health America found that 66% of workers reported that workplace issues negatively affected their sleep. The same survey found that 50% of respondents engage in unhealthy behaviors to cope with workplace stress. 55% of respondents said that they were afraid to take a day off to tend their mental health. When taking a deeper look into specific mental illnesses, the CDC says mental illnesses such as depression are associated with higher rates of disability and unemployment. They go on to state that depression interferes with a person's ability to complete a physical job task about 20% of the time and reduces cognitive performance about 35% of the time. When it comes to aid and treatment of these illnesses, companies do not offer the resources or promotion of mental health care. A quote from 19 Frightening Workplace Mental Health Statistics says that 52% of employees say that their company does not do enough to promote employee health. Companies are not doing enough to promote healthier lifestyles and not doing things to improve employee wellness. If companies were able to promote employee health and wellness better, we could reduce these statistics. A simple way that value can be added to the mental health domain in work is by first educating about mental health. Companies can host seminars or hold training classes to help their employees be aware of and mend their health statuses. This would also help with the stigmas around mental health and help workers feel like they have options to help. Another way that this area can have increased value in, is programs such as wellness initiatives, more employee gratitude, and an overall focus on the health and well-being of companies. We can focus on wellness seminars, individual counseling, technology for daily check-ins, easier access to health professionals, and resources to build a greater quality of life. Not only would this build a better work environment, but it would help productivity in businesses and lead to a happier community. From a business standpoint, the mental slash behavioral health domain is a growing industry. According to Behavioral Healthcare Software and Services Market, the global behavioral mental health care software and services market size is expected to reach 4.31 billion US dollars by 2025. According to a new report by Grandview Research Inc. exhibiting a 11.8% CAGR during the forecast period. Some key players in this market are health researchers who find statistics and methods, health professionals and educators, business owners who can implement health practices, and employees who are affected by the health domain. Overall, mental health is a huge issue in today's society. If workers are not able to receive the mental health care they need, businesses could be extremely damaged as well as the personal lives and families of employees. By helping to add value in the mental health domain in the workplace and lives of individuals, we can increase business productivity, enjoyment while at work, happiness in the homes of workers, and a greater quality of life. Thank you.